Hi, I'm Daryl Fleary with Alliant Quality Partners. I've been using Lectora for a number of years now, and I'm going to show you a tip on how to do a more interesting question type. What we're going to do is a ranking or sequence question. So instead of doing multiple choice or true false, which is often um, pretty boring for our users and we tend to use them, overuse them, this question type allows them to sort of sequence the items in a process or, for example, um, maybe order things in a list if they have to remember that. Well, you're used to using question types quite a bit, and you'll notice that there is not a question type for ranking or sequencing. However, what you can do is there is a survey type for ranking and sequencing. So what you want to do is click on the survey question, select ordinal, and then put in uh, your question, which might be to sequence the items or sequence the process. Put in the steps in your process. In this case, we're going to use five steps in this process. And type what your first rankable, all your rankable items are. So in this case, I'm going to type that it is uh, step one, the quick uh, brown fox. Now nah, that's too long. Let's just go with step one. <laughs> Make it easy. And then we'll have step two. I can't type this morning. Step three. Step four. And step five. Let's go back and check those real quick. Let's make them all consistent. Okay. So now we have our question and we have our steps. And what happens with a survey question is it treats it just like any other question. It stores the value of the answer in a variable, in this case the question variable. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a quick uh, item here on the screen so that you can see what value is being displayed. Uh, you obviously wouldn't show this to a user, but I'm going to add an action that says on show of the page. I'm going to change the contents of a text item I created called value just to display for you the value of uh, this question. Um, actually, let's do it on timer. Again, you wouldn't show this to the user, it's just for testing purposes. And if I play it, you'll see that whatever value they select will show up in that uh, variable. So now all you'd need to do is test to make sure that they have put, the, put it in the order that you want. And the way you would do that is simply add a button. Uh, we'll call it um, check my answer, something simple like that. And let's see, let's put an action on that button to clear out our feedback so we can tell if something changes. And we'll add another action then to actually check for the correct answer. So on mouse click, we're going to show our correct feedback on the condition that the variable for this question is equal to step one followed by step two, step three, step four, and step five. And I think what we'll also do is show our incorrect feedback if it's not equal to that. If I can find it. All right. Um, all right. If I typed everything correctly, this should work. Let's find out. So let's put these in the wrong order to begin with. <laughs> and we'll check our answer. And you can see that's incorrect. And if we put them in the correct order,
you'll see that they get it correct. So that's an easy way to create a ranking and sequencing question using the survey question tool of Ordinal. And of course, you want to put these in any order that you need to. Thanks very much. Thank you.